I'm going to be making something today. I've got hold of some old fire extinguishers. I've just let this one off, much to the delight of Mia and all her friends. Yeah, going to be making a few things from fire extinguishers and I thought I'd start with an easy one. So this one is going to be a wind chime for the garden, like a, a, a wind bell because it's got a nice curved top and I'm sure that's going to annoy the neighbours, but yeah, a wind chime. I'm gonna, well I'll show you the bits I've got. I'm gonna make it out of all bits that I've already got as usual. I'm not gonna spend any money on this. I might buy a spray can and spray it. I don't know. Or I might rust it. Could have it rusty. I might put some patterns in this, in the metal. Who knows, as usual, I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. But yeah, I've let this off, got the pressure out. Next thing, take the bell. Oh. That is the bell, I'm gonna cut it off sort of here, sort of a nice sh shape of some kind, I think, just freehand shape it. I've got a load of these metal discs, these steel discs, so I think I'll weld one of those on the top, like that. This, this is off an old tattooing arm rest that I built. The thread's gone on it. But I'll weld another bolt on there or something. That can go through there, so that'll fit on top. That'll be the hanging ring. I'll tack weld this onto the bottom or something like that to put a, a, a knocker. Is it a knocker? A clanger? A striker? This is an awl that I've got. Look at that, look at that yeah. plastic handle. Perfect. <coughs> Weatherproof plastic, perfect shape. That can go inside as <coughs> the knocker. <laughs> and then I'll make something, I could put one of these on the bottom, or I don't know, I'll make something to blow in the wind. Below it, I'll probably make something out of aluminium or something. Oh, i got a house full of kids, so it's noisy. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's the general plan. Let's make it. Oh, come on, you dickhead. Come on. Oh, that was more work than I thought. Give it a ding test. <laughs> My God, that's aluminium, and it's really thick. A lot thicker than I thought it would be. Well, I think it's alum yeah, that's aluminium. That's crazy. Never mind. Give it a dinger test again. Oh yeah. That's cool. <laughs> right. Now I'll sort of draw something on this, shape it, give it a nice sort of freehand shape. I thought that was steel and it's really thick aluminium. Oh well, I won't be rusting it, will I? <laughs> right, well we've got a bit of a freehand <coughs> sort of shape to it. I'm not 100% happy with it at the moment, but for now it will do. I've got to 
get all this paint off now then I can start refining it sanding it smoothing it over look how thick this aluminium is it's really thick I wouldn't be able to tell if I like this until I've taken all the paint off so let's do that then maybe put a pattern on it don't know yeah I feel like it needs something but we'll strip all the paint off have a look oh gotta keep doing the ding test make sure it's still dinging all right well I took all the paint off with my angle grinder and a flat wheel and then I looked at the shape and I didn't like it so I started hacking away at it again and it's now like that and I actually quite like that shape you know all is not lost if you shape it and you don't like it just take some more off doesn't matter so that's the stage I'm at now anyway I've got that's sort of slightly rounded I rounded it quite a lot before I didn't like that either so it's like this it's pretty rough but if I go over it with this wire brush on this angle grinder it's sort of you see I've done a patch there it sort of smooths it out a bit so I'll give it a work over with that and I might shine it up a bit with some sandpaper not sure again not sure just playing but it rings nice I think it rings better now Now I think it needs a bit of decoration so I've drawn this random pattern on it and I am going to use ooh, my Dremel with a little round grinding bit on it and I'm going to put some indentations all over this it's going to take a while but give it a bit of pattern so just make it a bit more interesting really and yeah, I want to see what it looks like so that's the next stage let's get on with that it's been a few hours and I've been messing about with this and I got a bit carried away with the old decoration so we've got two bands and a triskily 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 triskel triskily and some decoration on the bottom it just stops it looking like a fire extinguisher so much yeah I think I'm happy with that right I've been going through my box of useful bits nuts and bolts and this and that and I found a bolt a steel bolt a washer which I've drilled out I've drilled a hole through the bolt so I can attach the string or chain or whatever I use I've got to find the center of this and drill a hole for that so that goes on top of this this washer here wedges up on the inside of the neck so grind that knackered thread off there weld this on nice and straight drill a hole through the center of that then I can fit it onto the top and see how that is going to work Oh, 
don't weld it to the vice, dickhead. Center. Right, well that's the first part done. Got my washer up in the bottom. It's hanging on my ring. Who are misses? Drilled the hole in the middle of the round plate. There you go. The ring is ridiculous. It's got so much travel. Listen. Gonna drive everybody nuts, <laughs> me included. But I'll get used to it. I like it. It's looking pretty now. Oh, this is aluminium. This is steel, so I'll probably have to spray this to stop it rusting, or I might just let it go rusty. So right, so that'll do for the spinny wind catcher blowy thing. Bit of Save stuff. I always save stuff. I suggest you do too. Well, sell a spider or a harvestman, I'm not sure. Um, save stuff, save nuts and bolts. It all comes in handy in the end. All right, I'm back. I made that to go on the bottom. Hang out in the wind put it in the vise and bent it a bit and gave it a bit of a profile so it can spin a bit. How to fix this onto there. I thought, hang on a minute, fishing kit. Pike fishing. I've got some 20 pound break and strain pike wire, slim crimps, big old swivel, there's a bead, a drilled bead. I can rig something up from, from this. I can put the wire coming through the hole in the bolt down, put the clacker on, put a bead below it and a crimp to hold it in place, then bring it down, swivel on the end, attach to this. Actually, attached to that that's just saved one connection see just start these things I have no plan you just start and as you work your brain starts going and things come to me I just think oh yeah actually I can do this I can do that like you just saw there so that's what I'm gonna do there it is finished this is Randolph the Drummer! Hey! Check out his YouTube channel. Randolph the oh, Drummer. Oh, no, don't. But he hasn't put one on for like two or three years. <laughs> Here it is. Beautiful. It's done. I've rigged that up with swivels and I used a wooden clacker in the end, whatever you want to call it. I think it's going to take a bit of wind to make it actually chime, but it's got a hell of a noise, hell of a sound. Still, I've made the the little wind catcher so it spins, so you can watch that if, even if it isn't ringing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Done. Three quarters of a day's work. Nice little project. What can I make next? What can I make out of fire extinguishers next? Look. What can I make from that? Comment down below. <laughs> and like and subscribe and all that, all that bollocks.